Hi and welcome to Frasher Talks. My name is Michael and today we're having a look at the Frasher Wheel Center Arisa 180. So let's start with the working principle. A transmitter coil generates an electromagnetic field around the wheel center with 250 kHz. At the same time, two receiver coils sense the environment and detect any deviation of the normal state. The magnetic field distribution is then directly converted into electric sensor current by means of induction in the two sensor system coils. If this magnetic field distribution changes, for example due to the presence of a railway wheel, this change is reflected in an alteration of the sensor current which is immediately processed by the evaluation unit. Now we know how the RSI 180 works, so we move on to its technical characteristics. The electronics of the RSI 180 are encased in a glass fiber reinforced plastic housing to protect against environmental influences. It has a cast-in wheel sensor cable with four wires. There is one wire per sensor system that transmits the system current to the evaluation board. The remaining two wires are used to provide power supply to the sensor. The cable comes in lengths of 5, 10 or 25 meters. However, as it is not part of the electronic detection system, it can be cut or extended to the required length. The normal operating current of the RSR 180 is somewhere between 2.8 and 5 milliamps. That current is when there is no train or metal object in the proximity of the wheel sensor. In the adjustment process, the evaluation board adjusts to that specific value. Hence, the RSR 180 does not need to be calibrated. In an unlikely case of the sensor falling off the rail, this would be immediately detected by the evaluation unit. Also, wire break and overcurrent would be identified and result as well in the safe state of the system outputs. It is very important to understand the permitted operating conditions of a SIL4 wheel sensor such as the RSR 180. It has been proven at a maximum speed of 310 km per hour. Theoretically, even high speeds of up to 450 km per hour are possible. As you can imagine, Frasher wheel sensors, which are installed worldwide, operate at extreme weather conditions. They are designed to withstand temperatures from minus 40 to plus 85 degrees Celsius. With an ingress protection rating of IP68, the RSA 180 is protected against constant immersion in water, which is a crucial feature for a robust wheel sensor. The RSA 180 is resilient to common track return currents and successfully tested in accordance with the relevant standards. In conclusion, the RSR 180 is a safe and reliable wheel sensor which has been operating in various climatic conditions for the past 30 years. Thank you for joining in and if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and share. See you in the next episode of Frasher Talks.